Hey guys, so this is another first impressions video. This time it's for Mildred and oh my god guys. Oh, we got a lot of talk about today. These first impressions are going to be yeah. If you think this hero is is not sum up, uh, summonable, well, I got some news for you. So let let's go by steps. First of all, let's check her skills. Deals 288% damage to all enemies for 3 hits. Not terrible, but not crazy, but reduces damage taken by 60%. 60%. That is insane, guys. And transfer the reduced damage to the target enemy and makes all allies target the, ca the caster's target. Takes effect only one target, so that's 2 turns. Taunts all enemies by two turns, making them the t uh, target the caster. So we finally, finally, we got a hero that taunts in the game. And 60% less damage taken. That is insane, guys. Absolutely insane. So you know what this means, guys, right? This means that when she goes off, people are going to be forced. They're going to be forced to wait two turns. Be, uh, t uh, to wait for this buff to go off because because this this I already t checked and it's undispellable so they're gonna have to wait for two turns so that's gonna be insane it so most most of the times that when you actually go on the attack uh, you go off and you try to kill a hero as soon as possible but she goes off it's gonna be a big problem because yeah somebody's gonna die and it's not gonna be her <laughs> <laughs> I can guarantee that right off the bat. So people are going to wait for two turns, two whole, whole turns. If somebody has the whip, yeah, somebody is, uh, the defending team may go off before the attacking team. So that is super relevant, super, super relevant. But that is not the worst thing about her. <laughs> worst for the enemy, you know, it's her awakening. So... Some people may have noticed that her plus one is incredibly overpowered. Well, that is because, well, my ninjas, um, my secret ninjas over there told me that the developers originally made this one, the plus one, was supposed to be in plus five and vice versa. This one was supposed to be plus one and this was supposed to be plus five. So I don't know if they made a mistake or they decided last minute, okay, let's just make this easier for, for free to play or cheap to play players to get the plus five and plus one. I don't know. I don't know what happened there, but this, this is absolutely bonkers. This ability right here, uh, let, let's just read it. We're getting one. Taunts all enemies and transfers part of the damage taken to an enemy when the battle begins. The damage transfer increases proportional to skill level. So pretty much her, her, right off the bat, she has her, her ability up. So the enemy is going to be forced. Is going to be forced to wait two turns before attacking. That is game changing right off the bat. If, if you don't get her to plus one... You are absolutely insane. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if if that goes beyond because this is a plus five ability in a plus one. So if you've seen plus five here, it's the usual uh, you die, you revive with one life. That's that's the usual plus one and plus three for for some heroes. So so if you ignore the plus one, mm -mm, guys. Um. I usually don't tell people to to spend or anything, but this this is just too much. You have to get her at plus one. I I, I don't care if you're fleet to play, cheap to play, whatever whale, whatever. You got to get her at least to plus plus one. This is absolutely crazy, and I haven't tested her uh, yet. So I'm just seeing what people are telling me and things like that, and uh, and pictures that people are sending me about her because I don't have her yet. Sadly, I do plan to get her, obviously. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I don't know how many turns this this ability lasts. I'll let you know on the update video. But, yeah. You have to get this one for sure. There is no question about it. So, let's go to plus two. Uh, it's the 8%. And takes 5% less. So, be, so, pretty much it's 60%. 
uh, plus the five percent. That's you were talking about sixty-five percent now, less damage taken. So that is insane. The plus three is it's good. It's the usual plus three for many uh, heroes, which restores three mana. It's 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 good to have, not too crazy. And the usual uh, and the same one as the second one, uh, which is takes five percent even less. So now she's taking seventy percent less damage. So that is crazy, guys. If, if you're able, if if you're thinking about uh, getting her higher than plus one, this is a good upgrade. Because we're talking about 70% less damage here. And the plus five, what should have been the plus one, it, it is definitely good to have, for sure. Uh, imagine her, um, everybody attacking her, everybody going off on her, and she dying. And you still have to wait an additional turn. When she yeah, were supposed to die. So this is definitely good to have. If you want to be like the most competitive player out. You will want to get this for sure. But. I gotta say guys. That plus one. Oh. It's. It's. No. You. It, it's. It's just pretty much like Valerie. Valerie you have to. You had to get plus five. To be able to. Uh, to get her. Her damage share to the entire team right off the bat. This one you get to, you, you can get the the um, damage sharing from the enemy uh, from the enemies to, towards her at plus one right off the bat she doesn't have to go off that is absolutely insane guys insane so yeah if you haven't understood I've, I've tended like I've told it like 20 times now get plus one I don't care what <laughs> I don't care who you are plus plus one for sure guys for sure. So something interesting that you have to take into account her is this she's an agility hero. So there's not a lot of energy uh eh, ah, sorry. Agility weapons that are good for defense, but her weapon is actually out of this world as well. So we're gonna go with that. Since I don't have her, I can't really show you the weapon per se, so I'm gonna show you the uh, the patches here. All right, Mildred. Exclusive weapon, gain shield by 25% of match HP. And if it's Mildred, 50% shields for three turns when using skills. So when she gets her weapon, when she goes off, which she will, trust me, she will get 50% shield. So she's reducing, if, she's, if you have her plus four, she's reducing 70% damage. And the other 30%, she's taking on shields. Oh my god, this is this is nuts guys. That I, I, I can't I can't this is too much. But anyway, this weapon this weapon here, uh you have to see that it activates with the skill. So shields equal to twenty five percent. So this is a straight up uh, replacement uh, to Reggie's weapon so you're gonna see a lot of Palmyra's with this weapon now because Palmyra's gonna go off she's gonna get shields and it's not gonna be RNG anymore so yeah Reggie just got a, a replacement um, the Reggie weapon just got a good replacement so I'll, you're gonna see a lot of people wanting to have this weapon and by having the hero they'll be able to summon it there with the leaves there for sure so if you haven't understood what I'm trying to say here, this hero, this hero is gonna cause a lot of, a lot of, um, yeah. This is gonna be a really strong defense hero. Many people already are are thinking and saying, and myself as well, that she's gonna be an excellent replacement to Percival. If you don't know who Percival is, is Idrith, uh, Percy, here we go. If you fought per Percy at war, you'll know that he's super annoying. Super annoying. But one thing that Percy usually doesn't do is killing a hero. And she will straight off kill a hero. Or make you wait two turns and then wait two turns more. Yeah, that's going to be crazy. So my first impressions of her that she's going to be pretty broken on defense. That's for sure. Yeah. That's my first impressions, but if anything changes, I'll let you know my update video. Alright, thank you very much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.